The story continues, as we find Boxo being wheeled around on a cart. However, it soon becomes evident that he has been kidnapped. Puzzled about his destination, he recalls an incident a few hours earlier when he was approached by a group of men. They claim to have been hired by the director to reinforce walls, and they invite Boxo to accompany them to assist in feeding the workers. Although Boxo recognizes one of the men as the shady individual who previously attempted to steal from him, he assumes the person has changed since he now works for the director. Trusting this explanation, Boxo agrees to go along with them, and they load him onto their cars. After about eight hours, Boxo starts to realize the true nature of the situation and wonders how far they are taking him. When they eventually stop for a break, Boxo seizes the opportunity to use his security camera to capture images of all the men's faces. During this moment, the thief approaches him and demands food, but Boxo refuses. In response, the man resorts to violence and stabs Boxo, causing some damage. However, the boss intervenes, reprimanding the thief for harming the merchandise. The boss then demands Boxo to hand over all his money, but Boxo steadfastly refuses. Knowing that Boxo can repair himself, the boss orders his men to rough him up. They start attacking him, but Boxo receives a notification about an option to enhance his toughness by spending a thousand points. He decides to utilize this option, instantly becoming tougher and reducing the damage from the attacks to zero. Concerned that Boxo isn't repairing himself, the boss becomes worried that they might have broken him. However, the thief reassures the boss that Boxo will be fine despite the tough situation. Boxo courteously serves them drinks, and the man is relieved to see him still functional. However, the drinks turn out to be repulsive as they happen to be Boxo's lowest rated concoctions. They arrive at their base at night, where Boxo is taken inside. A woman is assigned to examine him, but her fears lead her to merely receive the instructions and hastily withdraw. The woman introduces herself as Hulami, a magic item engineer, and Boxo recognizes her as Alami's friend, who has also been kidnapped. They engage in conversation, and Hulami is impressed to find a magic item capable of understanding and conversing with people. As she reads the instructions, she deduces how Boxo can communicate. Hulami shares her attempts to imbue magic items with human intelligence but found it infeasible with their current technology. Instead, she has been contemplating the idea of placing a human soul into an item. Boxo is amazed by her deduction, and Hulami expresses her excitement, requesting a drink. Boxo offers her one of his melt teas, and she finds it delightful. As they continue their dialogue, Boxo confirms that he indeed possesses a human soul and retains memories of his past life. Hulami is curious about why he requires money, unlike ordinary magic items that don't need it. Boxo demonstrates his ability to transform into his other form, revealing that he uses money to acquire additional functions. He showcases his barrier skill, and Hilami is astounded by its versatility. After their conversation, Hilami goes to sleep, and Boxo contemplates whether the villagers have noticed his absence. In the meantime, the bandits return, seeking revenge on Hilami for scaring them earlier. However, Boxo transforms into a magazine dispenser, distracting the men and prompting them to return to their rooms. The next day, a man brings food for Hulami, but it disappoints her. In response, Boxo shares some of his own food, treating her to a variety of delicious dishes, impressing her with his culinary abilities. Just then, the boss enters, inquiring about what Hulami has discovered. Reluctant to cooperate, Hulami is given two days to figure out how to access Boxo's money. They both realize they need to escape before the deadline. As Hulami continues to examine Boxo, time is running out, and he contemplates causing a distraction to aid her escape. However, Hilami discourages him from sacrificing himself, pointing out the danger of the surrounding monsters, which would make survival impossible even if she managed to flee. They call it a night, and Boxo ponders their deadline. During the night, a commotion outside startles them awake. They hear Lamas's voice, indicating a fight outside. Hilami is surprised that Boxo is friends with Lamas, and she initially believes they can wait for rescue. However, she soon realizes the bandits have explosives stored in addition to their gold, posing a serious threat to their safety. Boxo becomes anxious upon hearing the news, and some of the explosives detonate, causing the ceiling to collapse. He quickly deploys his barrier to protect Hilami. Hilami wonders if Boxo can sustain the barrier indefinitely, but he confesses that he cannot. Though he believes he would survive being crushed due to his improved toughness, he worries about Hilami's safety. Hilami realizes that Boxo's ability must be fueled by money. She points out the bandit's stash of gold, and Boxo allows it to pass through his barrier. In response, he raises the prices on all his items while Hilami collects and deposits all the money into him. This leads to an extraordinary number of points, and Boxo believes they can hold out until Lamis comes to save them. However, Hilami suddenly collapses, struggling to breathe within the barrier. Boxo contemplates a solution and spontaneously transforms into an oxygen vending machine. Hilami is relieved and able to breathe again. Boxo recalls being a vending machine fanatic in the past, aware that oxygen vending machines were used in 1965 due to air pollution concerns. Hilami's resourcefulness and charm impress Boxo, and he finds himself charmed by her as well. 
Soon, Lawless arrives, overjoyed to have found Boxo. She slips through the barrier, crashing into him, and cries, believing she had lost him. She apologizes for not watching over him, and Boxo is glad to be reunited with her. Lamis eventually notices Hilami's presence and realizes they both made it out safely. Philmina wonders why Calroy helped them when there was no financial gain involved. Calroy claims to be a nice guy, but Philmina understands his true intentions, to gain a favor from Boxo. Calroy asserts they will achieve their dream by any means necessary, implying a determination to pursue their goals, even if it means manipulating situations. This bring an end to our episode. If you enjoyed it then don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. See you in the next video.